Hey everybody, this is Rido and we're back to LEGO Worlds. It's been a couple of days since I last played. I actually got a Nintendo Switch and was playing Nintendo games, which can't ever be on my channel because of Nintendo's anti-fair use stance. Uh, what's interesting here is the slot save just says Discovery 603 instead of a percentage of as far as finishing the game. I, it seemed like the graphics in the previous um, recording were actually at medium. I've turned them up to maximum. This because I've been distracted with the Nintendo Switch, I've not been able to test any if anything else is going wrong with my computer or not. So, basically, put it off. Uh, but if anything was going to go wrong, it would go wrong probably playing this game but there's a lot of other things wrong with this game I found out that Winter Wonderland here is actually a free bit of DLC in the same way that Classic Space and Monster Town are free DLC also which means we basically need to find a random world to try and unlock something new. Hmm. Well, Winter Wonderland here, I believe, is different than the other Winter Wonderland. So, we've just found one. Let's go back. Continue adventure mode. Hmm. 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 Interesting. That totally broke it. Broke. Like that's not what was supposed to have happened. Up. Uh, Anyways, um, I looked at the percentage as far as games being done and how many people have even gotten like 20 gold breaks, for instance, as an achievement, and it's about 20% of the players. Um, there are achievements in this game that are at 0.1%. There is a thing I want to do here where I want to find a dungeon. Yes, uh, but... That's about all I really want to do. See, this Adventure Mode Winter Wonderland is different than this Adventure Mode Winter Wonderland. Uh, so, yeah. This game is broken, buggy. It's very possible that it was the thing that corrupted my video card drivers, although highly unlikely. It, it's more just that the RAM short circuited and that corrupted my Windows driver, Windows system files and the NVIDIA video drivers. And then that was causing a secondary effect of this crashing when I was recording. So at the very least though, this is not the game to use as a test and it's not really the game to to play as it were either because this game as it is sucks why am I down to 80 studs probably because I spent them all like the system here with the adventure mode breaks it and I'll try the sandbox stuff but I, I don't think the sandbox stuff fixes the issue either. If you were going to have an adventure mode, it would have to be kind of a shorter tutorial experience. And I guess this really goes to show why this is a $30 game and every other Lego game is a $60 game. But yeah, the adventure mode would have had to have been a pretty abridged linear experience. It would have had to have basically put big glowing walls on the open world concept and uh, 
and then let us run in kind of linear areas. Uh, I feel like the fact that these are kind of not connected worlds is really strange. Let's see if we can bring up the map. So, yeah. Like, the reason why these platforms are so, so kind of uniquely tall is because some of the platforms do have dungeons in them. Again, this is another one of these Christmas environments. So, it kind of feels like it was unnecessary for them to even add a winter world as free DLC if it was already in the game so I would have to just assume it wasn't already in the game and finding this random world now is just one of many random worlds and that the pool of potential random worlds you will find uh, growed when they added this Winter Wonderland DLC but that's pretty much the only content that they added for free. Uh, whereas if this was supposed to be a Minecraft style game that was constantly getting updates, you would have expected a lot more. And you totally would have expected this world to just keep on growing. And keep on going. There's, there's a kind of programmatic beauty in the fact that no specific spot in Minecraft is important when it's originally spawned and you can just have a chunk deload and a area of land deload from the, the game and there's not a big problem there whereas I would suspect that this game never deloads any of the map doesn't have a chunking system clearly doesn't have a a procedurally live spawning system that would make the map grow further to the edges and what's funny is minecraft's world border which is what the a adventure mode or tutorial mode for this game really would need use and need minecraft never really even uses the world border in fact, Minecraft, if you actually just think about it honestly, is terrible as far as onboarding new players and tutorializing new players because it, they don't have to. They've got thousands upon thousands of YouTube videos of people explaining how things work. Like, even when they add new content, the YouTube streamers are out and about talking about the new content before it's even released um, so it's it succeeds greatly from having a huge amount of community support but what I think we've run into as a problem here is that this winter wonderland has no quest on it at all because it was added as DLC. So. Yeah. It's just a big waste of time. Even by the low standards of here. Obviously I also want these trees to be a little bit taller. Certainly could use some more studs. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, there's like one percent of this map I haven't seen, according to the game, which that certainly would be very annoying. To have to have to wander around trying to find that one percent. 
you would think that there would be a dungeon associated with this and that inside this castle if that was going to be your distinct building that's included each time you would expect that there would be a dungeon that would lead down to the ground and I guess these presents are uh, are the reskins of the chests yeah we're still at 99 percent there's I don't even know what the zero of eight quests are I've this is kind of a great example of why you don't take breaks when playing games or why I don't take breaks when playing games is because I totally do not have a clue as to some of this All right. so find a new world this one seems to have no gold bricks on it either hmm no gold bricks no gold bricks no gold bricks no gold bricks, no gold bricks, no gold bricks, no gold bricks, no gold bricks. Is that the case or is it just hmm, that there's something else I'm supposed to do? Let's not do a winter wonderland, let's do an adventure mode. We clearly, were, at one point, were tutorialized and told to look for these small planets and then use the small planets to get gold bricks and move forward. And clearly, the tutorial mode and adventure mode was supposed to have us work towards 100 gold bricks, which nobody makes it that far, clearly. Just show me a dungeon. That's really all I would like to see. And it may be a case that dungeons are not doable either. Uh, it's, it is, I guess, a question of... Here you have a big round area. And then... At least we got some gold bricks here. Zombies are very hard to defeat when using standard hmm. weapons. If you have a powerful sword or an explosive item, show them no mercy. Apart from the zombie cheerleader, she is just so cute in an evil, undeadly, brain-biting sort of way. Some enemies can only be defeated by using special weapons. Look out for different colored hearts for clues. Green apples, yellow apples, red apples. Here we have another tree that looks like it just totally didn't spawn in. And honestly, it makes it seem like this is something that they intentionally just built wrong. Or they corrupted the save file on. I shouldn't have given the apple to the to the guy there. These other trees look fine. Uh, by the way, there's also some achievements like riding four animals at the same time uh, in six seconds, or six animals in ten seconds, something something that sounds like it is a fun idea for an achievement if you really could get into this game but unfortunately it 
the rest of this coverage, whether it's one episode or two or three or four, um, however many, the rest of this coverage is going to probably come back from the perspective of of me saying, unfortunately, that you just won't be able to get into the game. I, I think I should give that one an apple. It would probably be fairly easy to get that achievement, too. Like, if you can get two different kinds of cows and, and the horse to all follow you, then it wouldn't be too hard to to just come over here and go why, and then why, and then why, and then why, and then why. <laughs> okay. So he wants me to place corn creatures vehicles small brick builds which I guess somewhere around here this would be all under corn single wheat plant I hope that's what he wants. Hmm. Let's see if that's enough. All these animals fell asleep. Hmm. The objects that you need for this quest are definitely nearby. Have a good hmm. look for them. Look high. Look low. Look medium. Right. They're usually hiding in plain sight. Okay. We are really getting down to barley is the other thing. We want to grow. Okay, if we copy this. Then we can come over here. And we may struggle to find enough room to even squeeze five barley in. Another character to discover that you've discovered. That wasn't quite a gold brick. Here we have a gold brick. Hmm. Which I guess means that there are no consistent gold bricks at all. If a bad guy can have a gold brick, if if a gold brick can just be a random quest designed by uh, any random person making any random custom world, then you really aren't having an artistic experience in experiencing the, the gold bricks you know, or collecting them. You're just being one being told now 
are fighting with each other and you're gonna have to listen to that noise Yeah. In a lot of ways, this game is n not too different, in my opinion, from what the what the experience was when they originally decided to get away from from not having voice acting like I was definitely on the side of people who who felt like that the game was better off by not having voice acting and being creative and artistic that way and in all fairness I do think there was some rather roughness that was happening around I don't think I could give this guy what he wants. Hmm. Yep. Like, I definitely was on the side of thinking that the voice acting was unnecessary. But eventually I warmed up to the idea of the voice acting and actually appreciate it better. Uh, I think it maybe leads to some slight laziness on the part of TT games as they make lesser attempts on some Lego games but overall I think it was slightly for the better speaking of better and that was just a piece uh, there are gold Lego bricks uh, that you get a gold key at the end of dungeons and that is supposed to be I suppose your ultimate items is that you go through a dungeon you get a gold key and in getting that gold key you open the special chest and then that lets you uh, That lets you collect. Interesting. I would not have thought they would have wanted you to be able to get inside a tree like this. Right. So do I have any kind of character has any kind of weapon. Hmm. I think the answer is probably no. Is there even supposed to be an attachment or a weapon or something that you get? Yeah, these zombies have these black, black things, black hearts. When they die, they tend to go into the ground. Meanwhile, there's a quest giver, I think, that is stuck in the ground. So I may not be able to do that quest either. And my, my concern here is I'm not even going to be able to get enough gold bricks to, to get the next uh, level. Also these exclamation points for the pigs wanting things. I, I question if those reset or not. So 
Let's see. Like so. So some of these Legos have, some of these Lego cars have a destructive ability. It would almost make more sense if that was the way it always worked. A just kind of complete terraforming. Now, what is this going to eventually do? It, it would almost certainly, you would find the lowest spot and then... You would slowly destroy more of the world. It'd frankly, make a lot more sense if this was the only way you could have flattened tr terrain. Instead of having guns to destroy things, have vehicles to destroy things. Uh, have tools. Well, I guess the guns are also called tools, but hmm. and see, she wants like a saxophone or something, and I clearly don't have a saxophone. What is this? I can press B to spook people. And here we have an underground cave, which that's something new. But it's way too dark. See, even that is a problem with, like, Lego games in general is that in Minecraft games is that the caves are really dark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now we have a now we have a grenade. I don't think I have a, any dog bones or bones in general. So I'm assuming this isn't just one bomb and we just now have infinite numbers of bombs. So maybe we can go take on the zombies. We're getting a lot of this clang 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 sound effect. Cows and pigs in the new pen. Which again, that would feel like that should be something that that should happen. Right, so talk here, except two cows, two pigs in the pen. It should be super easy now to simply go over here to this one brown car. Let's see, one, two. And then, before they wander off, a pig. One, two. See, we tried this on a different world. 
it felt like. Maybe we're back on the same world, I don't even know. Like, maybe it's just that these same quests are appear in different places. See, she's got a different kind of weapon. Hmm. So we've potentially got all kinds of items that I didn't even realize we had as far as our inventory. Right, so what do we think? We have infinite pirate bombs. Good. Let's go talk to this lady again and make sure we actually got the Quest. Hmm. hmm. And didn't we already do that? But I guess we'll do it again. This is going to be good. I may have messed up there. Is that enough? Yes, it is. <laughs> that gave me an item not a gold brick. Hmm. So you want a water tower and do we have a water tower? Hmm. You'll just never find it. Like, there's no way you'd be able to find this. Or really even play this. Um. Like, you, you just aren't going to be able to play this the, the way. They, they were expected. Like... The plus sign on for information, for instance, makes it seem like this would be designed first and foremost for the Nintendo Switch, but and even with a touch screen, being able to type in things, it, it's definitely going to be a nightmare trying to find the right things to build them. In a funny way, this kind of has shown the hand of TT Games and shows that, like, a TT Games kind of does do something, and when they make a like Lego game, uh, with having also writers and voice actors and other people involved in the whole process. Let's just check the map here. Let's see if we can. Zoom in and see if there's any more gold bricks. I think if if there were any more, I'd probably lost the opportunity to get them. Um, so you can't just make an open open world experience and expect it to work like this. It it, it won't. Do we have that? Probably not. We're like one short of getting the camera. On the other hand, this kind of hide takes away some of the magic behind creating a Lego game because this introduces the idea that anybody could do it. And that's not really an idea you want to introduce to people is that there, there is an actual art and skill in crafting, trying to 
hap being done when a Lego game is made. Yeah. So anytime it has an icon above it, then you know for a fact it's DLC and it's probably not going to have anything of interest. There's a, even like ocean biomes and that would be one of the things that we would be looking for here is to find worlds with different biomes because there's an achievement for that. Not that I'm going to get anywhere close to getting all the achievements. I, I'm not sure anybody has gotten all the achievements. It, it seems like even people who worked for the company didn't really play this game that much. Yeah. But once you you open the door and make people think that they could do better, then you're going to have those comparisons. And honestly, I think there probably are people out there that could have made a Minecraft ripoff around the TT Lego games and done it better. Um, Lawless Lagoon. Hmm. I guess each time you land somewhere he says the name, but that might be just each time, the first time you land somewhere, he says your name. I guess this might be built around the Lego police sets, which they have kind of stopped doing the Lego police sets for a brief time, and I think they might be slightly back to doing the police sets. Um, yeah, during the whole, um, major incidences that caused and led up to Black Lives Matter, there was a brief time in which they decided to stop selling Lego sets and pulled them from shelves for a brief time, like less than a year. And then they kind of went the exact opposite direction and... Brawl abruptly can be trickier than you might think. Hmm. Go charging in, all guns blazing, and you might shoot hmm. the character that's in trouble in the first place. Take your hmm. time and think what a master builder might do hmm. to overcome the challenge. Yeah, it seems like that is a very rough explanation for or an excuse of needing random fights and encounters to happen without wanting to write story around it. Yeah, at some point they went the other direction and abruptly stopped a criminal set. Uh, and the criminal set was supposed to be a cartoon, cartoony bank robber that had a bomb uh, made out of Legos on top of the building. And they just canceled the set completely. In fact, Lego's been very random and abrupt about canceling sets in general lately on top of major shortages, which everybody's suffering from. They said I needed a sword to kill zombies. Apparently this is not the right sword because it is not working. Maybe I needed a pirate sword or something. But I will say generally Lego is always going to have a fireman set. It's always going to have a police set. That is their desire and goal is to have those generic lines of Lego City sets, uh, which Lego City includes the police, the fire, and the hospital, which they're expanding on the hospital, which is a bit of a safer bet. Um, but I imagine how it goes is is that the higher ups at lego assign specific types of sets to creators and 
every year they make something in that same general theme um, often you can tell on the cheaper lower level uh, sets that are designed to be sold to younger kids at a cheaper price they will just do the same thing over and over again so there'll be a boat one year and then there'll be a slightly different boat the next year Alright, let's see what the police officer wants. She wants to not get defeated by criminals. I wonder if it if this guy drops a red apple every time. Another one that's stuck over here, good. Camera is super broken though. I almost lost there. Alright. Is there another one somewhere? This camera's so broken. Well, gun would have helped. But, uh, once you put it away, feels like it's just gone forever. Okay, there's no quirks over here. They either respawned or there were supposed to be like five of them. And they're just stuck in the mud. Or stuck with terrible pathfinding because there are no paths in this game. There we go, we got it done. I feel like what LEGO World really should have been is the idea of, of it should have been the idea of connecting the old LEGO games. Observer like, builder. If you had simply taken all the previous LEGO levels and patched them all together. Milestone. Fifteen gold bricks. Take them back to your rocket to receive your reward. Like. Alright, let's go ahead and buy one of these. And buy a telescope. Buy some grass. Hmm. Yeah. If you'd taken the worlds of the previous LEGO games and made those environments you could visit almost like a Disneyland, Disney World type experience, I think there might have been a thought there. To connect everything. Problem with that, of course, is that with the exception of like Manhattan and the Lego Marvel Super Heroes game, most of the areas are not big open world things. The vast majority of all Lego things, uh, all Lego areas, are very small. I think there's just somebody here. It's stuck in the door. Hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. Most of the area, most of the, the content in Lego games are, are flat 2D areas from where you run from point A to point B. And then there's some puzzles around that there's no puzzles in these at all. That's fairly obvious that it's lacking that as something you would want to see. Um, but even the open area ones that would exist are very small open area areas. They, they really just have not been building up or planning to ever have a Minecraft style game uh, with the, the kind of content that they have been making for decades. So, it's been a long time since we've used the terrain tool, and it's nice that, that this can potentially work. I'm just hoping I can actually do this right. It's supposed to be a giant dinosaur footprint. Let's just see if we can make some stairs. Took a while, and then it went back to the darkness. <laughs> there, there really is some value, I would say, in the vast number of just random characters. Like, that is something that has always been missing in the licensed games. While you may get, like, 100 to 200 characters in, like, Marvel superheroes, they're all going to be variants on the, the Marvel characters. You're not going to be given... Uh, right, so they want me to build some kind of thing don't know if I can build it and I think this is probably going to be another case where I'm gonna try and build something that somewhat matches a building but I'm gonna really have no clue What we would want is a fi finished building, which I guess wouldn't be something like that. It'd be something closer to this. Hmm. But that doesn't seem like that's what really they're asking for. Yeah. And it does seem like at this level we are about a, a third of the way through with all the characters. So if there are six, then six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-six, forty-two, forty-eight, fifty-four, sixty. Um. Let's see, or 62, 70, I'm way off, um, 76, 82, 92, 
Maybe eight. Lost count here. 100, 106, 112, 118, 124, 130. Yeah, it seems like there's barely 150 characters. <laughs> if you take that, then 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Um, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, 7, 8, 9, barely 70, and most as far as um, buildings. Alright, let's, let's put this dinosaur exhibit. Somewhere if we can... I don't think we have room for it. But sure. That's not what they wanted, though. They want something very specific. And they don't seem to mind where I put it. But they do seem to mind what it is. So you have discoveries, which is kind of its own small section of either one stud, like pale bush, skull, those are one stud things, or groups of studs uh, that logically would be used quite often. You would almost certainly want some kind of cascading folder system here where you could hide the one stud items under the category of um, full builds full item builds which should be under a category of full house builds or full diorama builds that that's certainly how I would see it is you would you would want to go diorama which is a collection of multiple sets of studs to represent multiple items and then under that category of dioramas you would want um, items and under items you would want individual studs and that's not happening. It's kind of funny they say they want a house when there's a house right next to them. Let's check the map. Still takes forever to load in. All right. Where's my rocket? Because that's where I'd like to go. Let's just return to rocket like that. Oh, the rocket apparently stuck, sunk into the mud. Or, no, it probably didn't. There's probably very specific spots where it looks. Special item unlocked camera. <laughs> Take photos of things you like the look of. <laughs> a wonderful sunset, a cute kitten asleep under a tree, <laughs> or even a lion biting a witch's bottom. Okay. So it gives you the camera as an item when you get to 15. Which arguably means you have to get to 20 to get a lantern to potentially even start to think about uh, the information is kind of not here. Left trigger, right trigger zooms in, left bump, right bump does nothing. A does nothing. 
seems like X is what takes a picture. Um, yeah, I'm all for photo modes, but definitely feels like this is again a system that they have designed specifically to probably target the switch and fail miserably at that aspect. we're still in this weird position where the adventure mode does not seem like it can continue until you move forward through these random discovery worlds hey right, this may be what we needed though because we may have finally found a desert world which i think has a guaranteed of a dungeon this may be the case that you can't go to dungeons until you have 15 gold bricks so i i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people just never even get to that point um but yeah this is hardly star Lego Star Wars, where you would do scene one of episode four, New Hope, and then scene two, or uh, scene three, they're, they're, or you'd see a cutscene to bridge the gap between scene one and scene two. Fearsome uh, frontier. Well, that seemed to have unlocked a whole bunch of new color palettes. And there are two dungeons in this map. All right. You can see the edges of one cave system at least. This is what we needed to, to find out, certainly, as far as how things would really work. How far can this gun go? Dynamite crate. Seems like it has a limited reach. Hmm. The pirates, the cowboys, several other older series of Lego sets have kind of long since been abandoned. Yeah, I don't think we, we, we occasionally see a pirate set here and there, and there was a, definitely some really nice Lego pirate sets when they were licensing out Pirates of the Caribbean, um, but, but yeah. Cowboys and Indians haven't been around for probably nearly three decades. And I wouldn't expect to see them ever come back. Like, Cowboys and Indians in general is looked upon now as being kind of fake stories, propaganda stories of of how the West really was and and reminders of a time probably people don't want to really remember or be reminded of. We do see the good news here is that there are well, let's go chase this guy first. It seems like the game has decided to throw me a bone and we may very well be able to get to rank 20 in the next recording 
If not, we, I guess, know what to do. Otherwise... Let's see. Yeah, I would love to be able to play these kinds of characters in any Lego, uh, any Lego game, and that these would just be Lego worlds would be some kind of online system that that says, okay, we have the same skin files for all of our games. Uh, if you connect, if you create a TT games account to your lego games will then allow you to patch and, and play as these other characters in your existing lego games we would have a launcher where we would take all your lego games and put it in one place um i bet they're not programmed well enough for that to really work but yeah that'd be about the only thing i could think about doing as far as the lego worlds because you can't really re-license all of the previous games which probably means you can't even do what i just said honestly because you may have to pay a new license to even make a new patch or a new update to old games hmm. yeah they, they painted themselves in a corner really um and i don't know if there really is any way to fix it because Minecraft in Lego form should work, and yet having over a decade of TT games take the general visuals of Lego and make a game that really isn't about Lego has destroyed in my mind the idea of digital Lego really working. Um, you don't even, at a certain point, need the studs, which stops making it feel like Lego, and you would just make it Minecraft. At that point like lego has only the interlocking studs and its own name brand to stand behind and when you look at the non-licensed lego sets that's not a lot as far as quality products or as far as things people would be interested in at the very least when you're playing the lego city tt game then you know that is behind the brand of lego city and uh, you can create a character and you can create bad guys. That's what probably needed to happen here. Lego Worlds should have been the Lego Movie 2 or the Lego Movie 3. And it should have had uh, like a new bad guy that was creating an infinite world. And you had to defeat him by getting stronger and create an even bigger world. Um, and there should have just been a new original story around it instead of leaving it so open. Um, at a certain point, Minecraft does have a story. Like, you wake up in a world, you build your houses, you eventually fight the Ender Dragon, defeat him. Some other characters if you have been added since the Ender Dragon, certainly that you can fight too. You're trying to get resources, you're trying to build things, you're trying to trying to homestead for lack of a better term. Um and you certainly could put in your own narrative in that, um, to expand on that character. There there could be definitely a general con concept like that. Whereas this doesn't really say anything. You're just some astronaut in space somewhere in some kind of weird lego space that take let you go to weird lego worlds why do these lego worlds exist doesn't make any sense it's not explained well the good news is we've gone an hour and i can once again confirm that i've not had any problems with recording so seems like i probably have fixed that problem course now i have the other problem of being distracted playing nintendo switch games that i can't make footage from so i'll have to make sure i stay focused and we actually made so much progress on this recording that i can go forward and make more recordings uh, i imagine 
There's probably two more episodes here, though. We're not going to go all the way to 100 gold bricks unless all of a sudden we start getting a ton of gold bricks. Um, even at that, the core gameplay mechanic kind of suffers. And, it, it no, it, it severely suffers from... Um, from just poor planning and poor th a lack of thinking things through. So I don't know if I really would want to play Lego Worlds to 100 gold bricks. I'm almost certain I don't. Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.